Happy New Year guys, uh, just a sort of spontaneous video, sort of wish, wish you all well. It's been an interesting start to the new year, this is the uh, first couple of days into the new year and here I am in Hyde Park. Now I, I can't zoom with this camera, it's just an action cam, but I've just wandered all across London, I've just found myself in Hyde Park and I've just got to Speaker's Corner. Now you might remember from my last video at Speaker's Corner in 2020. Uh, it was effectively the last time any speaking took place. It was effectively a crime, supposedly, to gather in, in groups of more than two. So people were getting arrested, Piers Corbyn was getting arrested. Tommy Robinson was getting arrested. Various individuals were getting arrested. And it seems today, I'm a little bit late to the proceedings. I, personally, I didn't really want to be involved today, uh, but Piers Corbyn, I hear, has been arrested again. I'd hate to think what the fines are. They're trying to bankrupt that man, I think. And I think it's atrocious, the fact that a sort of an old man, he might be a bit shouty and mouthy to some people, but he's an old man, if you just get, let him get on with it, what's he gonna do? Is he gonna start a revolution? I don't think so. He's effectively not allowed a voice. And the fact that they arrest people for speaking out against something, I think is telling. Now, there is a pandemic going on, but it's minor. It's nothing like the Spanish flu. Uh, look at the stats on the Spanish flu. At worst case, uh, we're having, it's a bad case of flu, and effectively it's, 99.99% .99 of the population are going to be fine. Some people are going to argue that's a statistic and say it's 99.98. Reality is, you're going to be fine. You're going to be alright. Stanley, listen to me. I have SARS. There's only a 98% chance that I will live. No, Dad, no! If you're over 80 plus, in a normal year, before COVID came along, you would normally be worried about flu. I would be worried if you were my 80, 80 plus year old grandfather and you got flu, I would be worried. So this is uh, the situation right now. We have got to the stage where we're shutting down world economies. What's interesting though, places like Dubai, places like Japan, they're open. The Japanese have got done it a slightly different way. If you're interested to see how the Japanese um, do it, watch the YouTube channel Black Pigeon Speaks. He does a lot of wandering around different cities in Japan like Tokyo, I think Osaka was one of his last ones and it show you that Japanese businesses have the option to stay open or not, or, or close. And it's really up to the individual. And that's, I think, the biggest problem we have here, the fact that there is a complete transfer of wealth going on. The transfer of wealth is, the, in 2020, the top 1% got 27% richer. 27% richer. Wealth doesn't come out of thin air. Well, it does in a way because we've got the Federal Reserve, the Bank of England, and all the central banks all around the world printing money. But what does that do? Eventually, it causes a huge depreciation in the value of money. So they're printing money, they're transferring the wealth, they're shutting down Main Street. Main Street is a terminology used by Americans and people on Wall Street to define the sort of the high street you know, the mom and pop shops, the person that owns one shop, they're shutting it down. But Amazon, Google have got richer and richer in 2020. And that trend's gonna continue. Everyone's saying Happy New Year on the um, December 31st, 2020, welcoming in the 1st of January, 2021. Happy New Year! <laughs> I hope you're gonna have a Happy New Year. I really do but I generally think it's going to be a very, very dark year. I got a bad feeling about this. Because if we see this being the precedent where people are being arrested for just going to, going to Speaker's Corner, people are being arrested for filming outside hospitals, people are being arrested for filming in hospitals, what do I talk about? There was an old lady, she was filming inside an hospital. Now, while it is a little bit inappropriate to film inside a hospital, and the waiting rooms of the A&E aren't, aren't really uh, relevant to what is really going on in the top floors. It is, it is telling that we live in a country where the police will come to your house at night 
and arrest you while, while in your dressing gown. Now, thankfully, they allowed her to get dressed. But why are they arresting her in the first place? She has a court appearance sometime third week in January, so she's on parole right now, all for filming in a hospital. Now, when I was touring certain Soviet countries, and even China, then there were places that you couldn't film. You would have the risk of arrest. I didn't expect to be living in one of the oldest homes of democracy in a supposedly a free nation and to know that there's a high chance that you may be arrested for speaking. George Orwell did warn us. The war is waged by the ruling group against its own subjects, but to keep the very structure of society intact. And this is why we refer to the Orwellian future of 1984. Well, in 2021, with the technocracy that is taking over this planet. And I mean, when I say technocracy, it means the big tech are controlling democracy. What if I told you that every single one of our mainstream media, including Fox, is being used as a tool to manipulate public opinion and steer the outcome of the election? Controlling our laws and in collusion with the central bankers, I think we are fast approaching a sort of prison state, prison planet of 1984. But let's go have a quick look. Like I say, it's just a short video. I'm just going to go through. I don't really want to hang about because, to be honest, I'm on, I'm on a nice walk. I think I'm nine miles into my walk right now, and I want to continue. So I'm going to have a quick look, but I want to wish you a happy new year. Very, very happy new year. Click that subscribe button, and I'll see you for the next video, possibly travel related. Not always politics. And that's it. Usually there's a lot of people here, but as we saw from the distance, although I don't think you probably did see from the distance, there was a lot of police sort of moving people along. There's police cars. Every time they see someone, they tell them to move out of the park. Um, I'm not going to waste my time here. There's nothing really going on, and it's a shame because it usually is such a vibrant area and uh, a lot of crazy people normally, but, you know, without the craziness, there is no life. But anyway, thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next video.